Hello everybody, it's Mexman again. So what we have here right now is my old low C aftershock monster truck. This one I bought off uh, an older gentleman and he used to run it at the... Um, it was used in the Monster Jam uh, monster truck rallies uh, that you guys would see sometimes. Uh, this one was actually used here in the displays area in the Allstead Arena. This thing has been through heck and back. It's been pretty decent. It's, uh, obviously, it's a nitro engine. Everything is original to this vehicle. Everything is, except for the, uh, obvious, for the air filter. But from there on out, all the gearing and everything is original. I did have a small accident with it earlier this year where I had to rebuild one of the shocks uh, but that, uh, one of the shocks and one of the arms which actually if you look at it I might have to rebuild the arm again too either way the truck has been has been amazing hasn't given me any real issues whatsoever at least none that uh, that haven't been my fault right now I actually have it apart because I lost the rear wheel steering I'm sorry not the rear wheel steering the rear wheel drive on the truck and I was taking a look at it I was uh, bashing it and I sent it uh, flying it wasn't that big of a flight but I guess it was big enough for the truck and unfortunately I broke the rear differential sliced it nice and clear just running it and all of a sudden I just realized I have no more rear wheel drive it's just pulling itself from the front wheels. I left it alone for that time being. And up until now, I decided to start taking it apart and see what's wrong with it. And uh, yeah, it turns out it was uh, the rear differential uh, drive shaft cup. So now I'm going to wait, go on ahead and wait for a new rear differential for it. And then uh, I'll probably go on ahead and look for another uh, for another uh suspension arm because obviously you can see this one's actually cracked as well but from there on out the truck is actually pretty decent believe it or not also this truck also caught on fire on me once and you can barely tell there's a little bit of a remnant of the fire extinguisher which you can see all the yellow that's actually from the fire extinguisher foam uh, but yeah that one also unfortunately it was my fault uh, but from there on out, the only thing that was damaged in that small fire, thankfully, the house wasn't damaged at all. Uh, the only thing that was really, really damaged was the battery. It had a regular uh, nickel metal hydride battery. That one is completely dead. It actually puffed up. Uh, but from there on out, the truck is actually, it has never given me any real issues. It is a roto start. It is not a pull start, thankfully. Uh, personally, I really don't like pull starts, but apparently a lot of uh, RCs are going to the pull start. Um, except for Traxxas and the smart, uh, not the smart, uh, the AC start, which have the time sense of failing on me and it ended up swapping out to the pull start. As far as I'm concerned, the original low C exhaust, everything on this thing, nearly everything on this is original to the truck itself it's been a good truck but like i said unfortunately at this point it does need repair it is better it it's funny because this truck is about i've owned it for about three to four years and again you can barely tell you can barely tell i've owned it for that long yet again i have my scent in which let's go take a quick look at it we have the scent in right here and uh oh yeah hey don't forget to follow maxman rc on instagram follow some of my other groups as well chop shop rc great group great people fun bashing around with them but uh yeah unfortunately when i had full speed and this thing was a 50 mile per hour actually straight into a concrete light pole but that's basically the only damage. Now at this point, this guy needs the shock tower, 
needs a turnbuckle and uh, and the arm along with the steering link which is from now on out that's I mean if we're going 50 miles an hour straight to a light pole that's impressive not to mention it also needs a new battery a body but hey uh, that's exactly what I bought this truck for was for bashing now I gotta figure it out do I want to go ahead and do some repairs and rebuild this or do I call it a day with the Centen and instead of uh, rebuilding the Centen I just go on ahead and buy uh, another one and keep this guy for parts uh, which personally I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do of course we all remember the new fifth gear fifth gear fifth scale I'm sorry this thing has been running great I've been breaking it in slowly but surely and absolutely no issues I did jump it once and unfortunately ended up breaking the front bumper but that's about it everything else is intact uh, because of that jump it actually broke my GoPro my GoPro lens and you can find that video and uh, that clip actually because it's a small clip you can find that clip on my TikTok and my Instagram to see exactly how it happened but uh, yeah a little uh, update on this guy as well went ahead and added uh, the covers that I went that I ordered with uh, with the car itself and I upgraded the receiver from the fly sky receiver over to uh, to my radio link uh, RC 6GS I believe it's called uh, radio system now this thing actually has gyro as well uh, I barely don't use it and again shout out to chop shop RC uh, little, the group on Facebook uh, Justin the, uh, the head of that group hooked me up with this uh, amazing silencer for the for the fifth scale because honestly this thing is loud it is loud. We have the Nitro Sport running as smoothly as always. Not a single uh, problem with it. Surprising for uh, for a Traxxas. But hey, I guess what can we say? You know, again, Nitro Sport is also running on the Radio Link system. Senton also running on the Radio Link system. And we have back here behind. The radios. We have the ECX Brutus. This guy was actually a two. Oh, it still is a two. It is a two-wheel drive, but it was actually a brushless two-ass motor on there. Went ahead and upgraded it to all-metal uh, trans gears and uh, four-ass brushless motor. So now this thing rips. Unfortunately, um, uh, same thing. I kind of sent it bashing a little too hard, and now I just I'm waiting for new body posts. These guys are just under for for show at this point. Um, again, you know it sucks to have a few broken cars, but what's a few broken cars, you know? And of course, let's go over to some of the um, some of the other newer RCs that I, that I've acquired. Let's go. All right, we are back here. This is actually another low C, just like that aftershock. Uh, yeah, just like the aftershock. This is a low C Mini B. It's a little brushed, two SRC. Fun little thing. Only reason why I got this guy was so that I can actually fit it into my uh into my saddlebags on the bike, so I can actually carry it with me same thing with the ECX torment now this guy was also another brush uh, system it is upgraded when I first received it it was a brushless uh, 2s I went ahead and upgraded the um, ESC on it it is now it can now you uh, power up to a 3s battery it can now hold the power of a 3s battery and uh, it's a sippy little guy too. We'll be making some videos on this guy soon as well. Just sipping around the parking lot. I actually went ahead and did a speed run with this guy. And uh, it actually topped off at uh, memory served with the 2S battery. Around 12 miles per hour. 
and on the 3S battery at uh, 25 miles per hour. It's not a lot, but it's something. This guy, about 10 to 12 miles per hour. I haven't really uh, done a speed run with this guy because I really haven't seen the need for it. And uh, finally, we have the updated Red Cat Gen 8 V2. Went ahead and uh, decided to go with the Joker colors. If you guys don't know, I'm a big Joker fan, hence a purple couch. Uh, add a little bit of a green accent to it. Went ahead and also added the roof basket with its LED lights. And it actually at this point also has the Red Cat LED kit for all the lights all around. Again, videos of this is on the Instagram and the TikTok. We also have a skid plate at the bottom to help protect the, the servos. Overall, it's been a good little truck. I think I'm gonna upgrade the shocks on this guy as well. But uh, hey, let's go back to uh, to the low C nitro we were working with, shall we? Let's go. All right, back to the low C nitro that's on the workbench right now, work table. I'm going to go on ahead and order the transfer case uh, either tonight or tomorrow once I'm able to find it online. And then we're going to put this bad boy back together and keep running it. This is actually a two-speed. I forgot to mention this is actually a two-speed low-C Nitro RC. It's a fun little RC. It is speedy. And uh, once I get it up and running again, I'm going to go ahead and do some videos of it uh the actual videos for this guy jumping around and everything and bashing are also again on my tiktok uh granted they're small clips but you can see some of the jumping you can see some of the hooning as well as some um, some of the bashing that the guys at chop shop rc uh and myself going ahead and do we meet up every other weekend we try to do it every weekend but uh Sometimes it doesn't work like that and sometimes we end up meeting every other weekend. Nevertheless, it's always a fun little place uh, to be at. We're re trying to rebuild an RC track and uh, I mean, yeah, that's really all there is. This was a nice short video for y'all and um, this has been Max Man. Hope y'all have a good day today. Hope y'all having a good night. And uh, honestly, stay healthy, guys. And I don't think that this thing's going to be ready within the week, week and a half. But it'll be ready. There'll be another car coming in. I do own a Hellfire that's being looked at at the shop because it's kicking my butt, my buddy's butt. We cannot figure out what the hell is wrong with it. So the, uh, the shop is actually looking at it like an actual hot my our local hobby shop shout out to strictly rc in norwich illinois they're the ones that are going to be taking a look at it they're the ones that know exactly what they're doing there's one guy in there that i swear that i swear he is the nitro whisper he knows exactly what to look for he knows exactly what he needs to see to fix it you could give him a completely destroyed rc and he will get it up and running without an issue it might take him a couple tries but he knows what he's doing so again uh this has been max man and uh enjoy your night guys deuces